guys welcome to the pizza tips pro and in today's video we are going to see how to create digital portfolio using google sites so before getting into the video if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the pizza tips pro please do subscribe and now let's get into the video so here for the google sites firstly we need a google account so uh, let's see uh, let's say you have a google account and then now let's go to the google drive and click on this plus icon and here you just go to the more and then you can see google sites so you can click here and then you will be redirected to the google sites and you can even go to google sites just by um, us uh, uh, just by going to the sites.google.com uh, when you are logged into your google account here and then uh, so now we are all set with this uh, google sites and now let's see how to create a new google site so i'll be just uh, telling you briefly how can you create one and all the things in detail are explained in the previous videos which you can find in the pre tips pro channel on youtube and now uh, let's uh, see how this works so firstly if you want to create a new site you can uh, go with this templates or else you can even choose a blank uh, site uh, so for this uh, templates you can just uh, go to the template gallery and you can check for all the templates so for the uh, it's something for event it's a health center template and many more templates are there but for this video let's go with this blank one click on this plus icon and then uh, you'll be taken to something like this so this is the very basic one and here uh, you can just uh, firstly you need to enter your uh, site name so let's see the site document name so let it be some abc so for this purpose so let's say uh, this abc is your name so let me generalize this out name portfolio you can write so this is how it looks like and then uh, you can even give your page title so your page title can be uh, the same thing name so this is something your name names portfolio so this is how it looks like so for example if your name is Ram so it will be Ram's portfolio so it's something like this and then uh, once we have given this all just click on this publish and there you need to give your web address so uh, you can just choose your web address so let me uh, this is by default given as this so you can keep it as it is or else you can even edit it so let's see if it is available yeah it is available so it is now published and now um, uh, once you have given this all you can just click on this view and this will be your link uh, for your google site so where this this is the one link which you can use to share for your with your friends or the people whom you want to share your portfolio with and now um, you can even just click on this and then return then just click on the settings and here you will be having many settings which you can do for your uh, site like this you can just choose uh, you can just uh, have a glance over this and you can select what to do and then uh, now uh, let's um, now let's see how can we design this portfolio uh, firstly uh, we'll just have a quick glance over this insert section you can add your text and your images your any files from the drive and also when you scroll down here you can see you can add table of contents buttons a divider a youtube a youtube video calendar maps docs and slides sheets forms charts on this uh, site using this insert section so you can do this all and then also you do have some layouts over here you can see these are the content blocks layouts you can use them to like perfectly organize or align your data in this site and then uh, we'll just move to the next part that is uh, we do even have a uh, pages section so just by clicking on this pages section you can add new pages you can just click on this plus icon 
click on new page and you can uh, give new pages to this so uh, for now let's not uh, we'll just remove this page and we'll see in the feature part of this video let's delete this and now so now let me uh, just tell you quickly about how your portfolio should look like so now uh, in this video i'll be just telling you some sample of how it can be uh, it can be made but this is not generalized for everyone because the portfolio may be different uh, based on the organization requirement and all so this is just a sample for you you can just have a reference from this and like you can do like this you can use these features and you can do so i'll be just sharing the sample version of the portfolio and then firstly so this is our home page so uh, the, make sure that your home page is clean simple easy to read and also you you can include the photo of yourself like make sure it is professional how do you uh, give your uh, picture like your for photo you can just go to the images section and you can upload your photo so for now i'll be just uh, giving you some sample photograph so let's go here and then just photo for portfolio so here you go i have given some picture uh, this is a, a, a photo, let, let's say this is the image of yourself or uh, uh, this should be a, a, a professional it, it should be in the professional manner and also uh, just avoid uh, giving the photographs which are selfies or some weird ones or using some filters and all so make sure it is uh, professional and then uh, the first section will be about me section so let me just uh, write it out so it is use this text option and then I'm writing it as about me and I want to uh, make this bold and then now you can just drag and drop this anywhere you can just adjust this anywhere uh, so let me just drag this and I want to place it here and let me increase the font size of this uh, let me firstly change this font to this and also I want to increase it to 30 and let's just drag it like this so this is the about me section and then in the about me section you can add your uh, content so let's again go to the text box and let's drag and drop this text box here below this about me and here you can add the text so what your about me should consist of so it should consist of goals it should be consisting of goals of you and then something uh, you wish you were uh, recognized for and think about what does success look like for you so what uh, exactly is success mean to you and then um, include some clubs or sports and or groups which you are a part of and what kind of work or what, what you have done through the clubs what you have done for the clubs and all you can do that or you can just tell that and also you, um, you if you have any titles from your club or if you have taken any responsibilities for your club and all the activities you can mention them here so it's about clubs or uh, sports and any groups so you can mention something here and the points that you wish your uh, people should know pe uh, you should get recognized for you can mention them here so in this way you can just fill out this about me section uh, so i'm just giving this these are the sports so this is something uh, about these you need to fill in the about me section and even you can add even more things and then uh, then let's say the section is over and then like, like come to next section that is let me add some text box so this is my accomplishments or achievements we can say so we can just change this font to this and also the font size to 30 and let me make sure that it is bold
and now here you go so in the accomplishment section uh, let me add one more text box and here it goes so in the accomplishment sections you just you can include any certifications or achievements uh, you can think of uh, it may be like you uh, getting it's not about the marks you score it is like something which you have succeeded you have you have achieved which you want your people to your your recruiters to know about so you can just add them your accomplishments and all and then you can even share your work so you can share your work for if you have some work um, published on youtube you can just click on this youtube and then you can give link to the youtube uh, video you have uploaded on the youtube and this will be embedded to this and also you can you, you can even uh, add your docs your slides your sheets and all and even you can um, get this files from the drive and you can just uh, embed them over here or, um, i mean you can just share them on your google sites so in this way you can uh, you can just add all your work and all your uh, uh, things done in this all format so make sure that before sharing it to this google sites make sure that the restrictions are taken off like some of the files in the google drive may be restricted to the so and so people or restricted to uh, only you so just uh, take it off and make it to be public so that you can just add it on your google sites and then uh, uh, you can just even create multiple pages i have said you as i have said you earlier just go to the pages and click for the new page and you can create pages for uh, telling something you are passionate about like you can say about your youtube channel if you have started any so you can name it like anything so let me say it is about my passion so i'm just giving this name for the identification so this is one of my page and then you can uh, if you have volunteered something uh, for some organization even you can mention it here and then uh, just uh, feel free to showcase who you are as a person and also make sure to showcase all those things in a professional way and also uh, one thing to note is if there is anything that is inappropriate uh, for the future employees uh, you shouldn't uh, publish that content on your uh, portfolio so just keep in mind that uh, your f uh, what is appropriate for your future employers so just make sure to post that kind of uh, portfolio uh, for your google site so this is all for this video guys i hope you found this video useful to you and don't forget to like share and subscribe to the pc tips pro thank you for watching guys